Okay, everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Max Gloom versus the High Bay LED. This is episode 16, and I'm going to start off by addressing a few things in this video. Uh, we're not going to talk about the plants yet. We'll get into that in a minute. Uh, so the first thing I wanted to address is the light meter I use to test uh, the PAR levels at the plant canopies. And there's a misconception or a misunderstanding about this based on some comments. So see what I have here? This is the Apogee MQ500. The sensor is the actually the MQ500. Now the old model uh, of this that was used to test LEDs was the SQ500 or 100. I don't remember exactly. It was an SQ, not an MQ. And the difference between this one and the old one is the old one did not test uh, a certain range of the uh, red and the blue spectrum. I think it was actually a cutoff on the red side. So if you were to use this meter and it was the SQ model, you would not get an accurate reading, uh, uh, an accurate par level at the top of the plant canopy if you were testing over on this side on the left. And this would read much higher over on the right. There would be an error rate. The MQ500 is designed to test LEDs specifically uh, and all their other sources of light, but more specifically in the range of the blue and the red spectrum in, in, in whole, uh, the complete range of the visible spectrum from UV to IR. So this meter is uh, very accurate. Um, I've compared it to uh, other uh, companies' findings as well. And uh, it's a lab-grade meter. It's very expensive and it's well worth it, but this is what I use. Uh, so. That's how I know things are fair in this test. Uh, the next thing I was going to say is that you probably noticed in the video description that uh, I am now uh, partnered with Max Bloom. And if you want to purchase the Max Bloom, if you are interested in all, uh, there's a discount code in the description below of all these videos, past, present, and future. So if you're interested, interested in that, I do receive a very small commission on that if you use my coupon code. So feel free to if you'd like. Uh, the other thing, uh, let me see here. Oh yeah, the nutrients. In this video, um, not in the video here, but what I'm gonna be doing from uh, starting today is changing over to the uh, new nutrient solution, which will be the two teaspoons per gallon instead of the one. That's what I normally do when I change over for uh, the fruiting and flowering phases. Talking about the plants here, and I'll get into that. Uh, there's not a whole lot to say, but I wanna show you a few things. Uh, that would be the, uh, the similarity between the plants. Uh, the plants are very similar in height uh, and also size. And if you just if you look at it, they almost look like mirror images of each other, almost like they're twins. You take a look at the branches down here, how that comes out, how that one comes out on that side. They're very, very similar. The, the node spacing on the maximum is just a little bit tighter than over here. But other than that, they look the same, even, the, even how we got the flowers coming out there, just the one stem of flowers, or actually this one has a second stem right here as well. And then on the Max Bloom side, uh, it's pretty much the same thing. We got one stem and then the other stem is just starting to come out here. It's coming out a little bit smaller than the um, other side on the high bay. So now we're going to take a look at the roots. So here's the roots. I wanted to lift this up and kind of look under here to show you. Uh, they're nice and white. Anytime roots and plants are healthy, they're going to have nice white roots. And if you can, if you smell the roots on most plants, it's going to have a very distinct smell. Uh, it smells, I don't know, it's hard to describe, it smells fresh, I guess. Maybe slightly sweet. It smells good. And you can obviously tell when it, when it doesn't smell good that things are not going good. Um, but even though I got aeration going on right underneath all these roots, you can see how these roots are actually climbing up the side. Uh, and they're looking for... They're looking for oxygen, at least a little bit anyways. But at the end of the series, we're gonna take a look at the roots and just see kind of what the difference is between both of these plants. But I wanted to kind of show that and talk about it. Also, before I close out this video, uh, a couple things. Um, so some left a comment on my last video talking about how the, you know, the power meter wasn't fair because it doesn't, doesn't test the lights anyway. So even though I already described this, there's another part to this as well. So if, if you have a Lux, or a, a light meter, a lux meter or a lumens meter, you are not gonna get accurate results if you're gonna put it under a red blue light versus a white light because a lux meter is only testing the part of the spectrum that's more in the green. There's a big hump, like a wave right in the middle of a spectral graph. It's mostly in the green. 
barely any of the red and blue because lumen and lux meters are designed uh, to measure light intensity that's most sensitive to the human eye for what people see. So you're not, if you use a meter like that, yeah, it's not gonna be fair. Um, there's one other thing I wanted to mention here as well. And that is these plants are clones from the last uh, mishap that happened. Well, it wasn't a mishap, it was when the plants had the disease. Um, I did not think the plant that I had over on this side uh, was actually going to make it because they, they, they all had some kind of fungal disease. But I let it grow out to, and I grew a lot of, uh, a lot of um, suckers out and everything. And it ended up actually pushing through its infection, if you want to call it that. And it, it actually it grew. So as you can see in the last video, I had the time lapse. I actually took cuttings from that. And these are clones from that plant. And it, it worked out. I took a bunch of cuttings and I just took the best ones. So these are clones. And that's about it for this video. I just wanted to mention a couple things. And I hope that gives information for those who are seeking it. And we'll see you in episode 17. Thanks for watching.